Okay, so here we are in my kitchen again. I just wanted to show you some more of the details and actually talk you through how we did it. So yeah, this is a long one. Get your popcorn. We are um, going to kind of go through, we're actually gonna take you to Lowe's and show you what we bought and how we put this together. So it's gonna be well worth your while. It's a really great kitchen. It's working really well. When we um, bought this house, it was basically an empty room with one end of it had a sink and small counter and some cabinets up above the sink. But we ripped the cabinets out. We kept the sink and the small counter and the cabinets underneath. And then everything else in here was empty. The great thing that um, was about this room was it is has a cathedral ceiling. It was once painted kind of a yellowy gold with green trim. And it was really cute, but I wanted to lighten it up and just make it really, really bright. Most of the rooms in this house tend to be darker. So I wanted a really sunny kitchen that I can lighten up really great. A lot of what I've gotten here is from thrift stores and that's been a really great way to decorate here's a little tip <laughs> see that pie plate with the roller and i have it right next to the apples it makes you think that grandma's going to make her famous apple pie but that doesn't happen in my kitchen it's just a suggestion but it still gives you that cozy feeling this i bought i bought from some guy for 25 dollars. i saw it on the side of the road we painted it and we keep our perishables in there so that little mice can't get into it and you can see there there's a good view of the vaulted ceilings and this is the view out of our door which is so beautiful the barn and our garden and the beautiful lawn so and our forest it's, it's just really nice we moved this into the kitchen from the other room which was the kitchen and then you can see we put shiplap on the walls that's where we ripped out a few cabinets and there was wallpaper and we wanted to cover it up so we used shiplap and here we have a set of shelves that i use for storage and they come in really handy because you can just reach up when you're cooking and take care of the uh, what you need and here's that island that everybody loves it's really three cabinets put together from lowe's and uh two by eight by tens and some um, legs and so i'm going to show you what we use to put that together it was really easy to put together it's kind of like a no-brainer um, and on this side we also put up shelves so here we go to lowe's so to me coming into lowe's is like this it's like my mother feels about staples. She gets all excited about organizational supplies. I get excited about what can we do with all these things that is something that they weren't really made to do. <laughs> and I love that. So sometimes I look at um, stair treads and I think, oh, nice shelves. And you know, they have all these brackets and shelf corners. We used these once to hang up a whole bunch of shelves and we put books on them in a room and it looked really, really great. And then one night the top ones gave and it went boom, 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 all the way like dominoes. So I wouldn't recommend something like this for your books. That's just a little, a little free bit of advice. So anyway, when you come down here, there's all kinds of feet and legs and knobs and all kinds of things that you can do to make your furniture look more custom. And then there's these wonderful table legs and they're the perfect height for a countertop in a kitchen. They're, ooh, they were, they're 27, 48. They were 25 when we bought them. Okay. They've gone up, hmm. but they're turned wood and they're classically beautiful for your kitchen island. Yeah, good, yeah. good solid. Good solid piece of wood. Yep. Yep, so it's not bad, you know, for a little over 100, you've got a beautiful look in your kitchen. And here they are. You can see we painted them the same bronze, brown black that we did of the cabinets. So they look really great there in the corners. Okay, so here's another little tip. Look at these horses at Lowe's, $19.99. And we use them in the summer and put boards on it, long boards, and we make really long picnic tables for our guests. 
so that's super fun. We're gonna go over to the roofing. So we got some corrugated metal roofing right over here. We got this stuff on top, the economy, 24 by 96 inch, and it's 1897. And it's pretty thin. You gotta make sure you don't cut yourself on it. It's shiny. And this is what we used on our island. And we also use this in our shower. And then we basically cut the shower to a certain length. I don't know if it was four feet or whatever it was. And then we had enough left over to back the island. So we didn't spend any extra money for that. We just had that excess sitting around. So always save what you use because you never know when you might use it and need it. But there's different kinds. You can get this kind, it's a little flatter. It's a little more dull. That one's a little shinier, longer. Makes me want to do my roofing. So we use this to back up the cabinets that I'm going to show you next, but it really finished it off and it used what we had. Didn't cost us a dime. It was really a great idea tied in the house. All right, and this is where we get our cabinets. So if you look at the prices, like that thick one is $100. If you get one with three drawers, that's $138. One of these. And these were $84 and $80. Yep. And we got one of these for $124. We get, did we just get one? We might have gotten a few. I think we got a couple of those. We got maybe two or three of those. So you see they're unfinished. They are, I'll open this one. This one's already open. They're just unfinished cupboards. Then you can do whatever you want. You can stain them, you can paint them, you can get taller ones. If you wanna do a pantry, they're a little more expensive. That one's 243. So because our kitchen was completely empty, we used those to just build the cabinets and we didn't even put them in the wall. We just put them there next to the wall. Set them down. We just set them down. So at any time, if we wanted to turn that room into a non-kitchen, we could. Pick them up and move them. We could just pick them up and move them to another room. And we could, like we can make another room the kitchen. Yeah. 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 We could. We could totally redo it. We could totally redo it. Yeah. And that's part of uh, was our, it has been our approach all along. Yeah. Just thinking about all of our spaces. Right. We want to keep them flexible. Right. So right. So we don't want to lock ourselves into this room is this. Right. 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 Because we keep changing plans. Right. right. Mm hmm. Right. So this is what worked for us. Yep. And so we will kind of, I'll look at this stuff and then we yep. can, yeah. Go and ahead. Probably at some point you'll be watching another video about our kitchen. And it will have changed because Ann will have a new idea. <laughs> right? Right. It already does. So when we were looking for counter, of course, when you come to the store, you can get counters all cut already if you want. What is this, laminate? It is... Um, it is... For mica. For mica. For mica. But you look at the price tags, it's like 125, mica, 102. Yeah. So you're looking at a little piece. Here you get a bigger square piece. 119, 102, 124 for a piece of your counter. But we decided to go more natural and cheaper. I mean, the nice thing about this is that, you know. It's nicely formed. Yeah, it simulates is nicely formed. granite or whatever. It does simulate granite, but it's not. I just want to point this out. Christmas ideas, better homes and gardens. Hello. 
so we came down the wood aisle. Oh yeah, it was this aisle. We came down the wood aisle to do our countertops. So we went with something like this. Yeah. 39, 48, three quarter inch wood by 24 by 72. Yeah. We went with that kind of thing because then we could seam it together if we needed more space. And I think we did, right? Was it that size? Or was that size fit perfectly and there was a thinner one we seamed together? Yeah, I think basically that was, that was the right size. Yeah. And so we were able to just put that right on top of those cabinets and stain and polyurethane it just like that. Yep. Easy peasy. Yep. So they've got all different lengths. They look really nice. We put that also, we use that to put our microwave on it, right? Yep. And if you want to go with something to paint, you can even go cheaper with these, but they're not as wide. They're just all painted together, piece of scraps. But look how cheap those are, $14.95, $19.98, and that's for a one by 16 by eight foot. So if you want to do some kind of shelf in a room and you're gonna paint it anyway, yeah. you can go with something like that. That's a good deal. Yep. Really is, because if you think about how much wood is. Wood. Yeah. So there's classic oak pecan. I think we got pecan. Uh-huh. Okay. This is the one we used. Okay. This is it. Stain and polyurethane in one step because okay. I do everything fast because I have so much to do. So we got the pecan satin and that's what we used on everything in the kitchen. And come over here. Oh, let's look at the shiplap. So this is the shiplap that we put on our walls. 952 Eastern White Pine. One inch by eight inch by eight foot. And that's what we use on our walls in our bathroom and in our kitchen. So 10 bucks a piece. But you can also get really rustic looking ship lap if you want it. I never go for this, so no. why don't we go for this? I don't really like it that much. No. Manufactured. It's very manufactured. So if I'm gonna go with manufactured, then I'd rather go with Yeah. That. Yeah, because at least we know that's wood. Kind of look, yeah. It's more Probably of a beadboard look. Wood, but it's just Whereas if it was like really like original old boards. Right, flat, right. I mean, and this is like cheap, cheap lines. Yeah, you know. yeah. Yeah, I just don't, it doesn't appeal to me. No, and it, it's cheaper looking, but it's yeah. not cheap price. No, no, it's, that's the thing. Yeah. If you were paying, if you're paying good money for it, then right. you want to have a nice look. Absolutely. Okay. The look doesn't. No. To me, it doesn't reflect the, what you pay for. No, I have to agree the with that. Product is just like, yeah, right. It's not gonna look that nice. Right, because if you look at this this board, this white, I don't know. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah. And it's not really. Huh. It's eight feet. Yeah, it's probably about the same prices. Yeah, I guess it part. is about the same price as what like we used. Really. I mean, if it was a nice... It, it, Special yeah. assistance needed. Well, you know what? Though the thing is that this is painted, Special so if you wanted the rough wood... Right, it makes it easier because it's one step. Right. That's the thing. I don't think the white one bothers me that much. I think that might look okay in the right place. I think the fact that it's sitting by everything else maybe doesn't look good and maybe... Maybe some of them look good on their own. There's the other side of it. Oh, look at that. Not that that matters, but... Yeah. Huh. Yeah. 
may be okay. That might be okay. It's not really a look that I like. That but that wasn't really the look we were going for. We didn't really need to make it look that yeah, rustic. Yeah, if you wanted it to look rustic, then you could do it. Yeah. But if you want a twist, it's just what we need. There, it's down there. Special assistance needed at the fashion lighting. Yeah, I think if you're going to go for a real rustic look, maybe that would be okay. In fact, I might even consider that for something in the future. The next kitchen? No, nah, there might be a room somewhere that we need a rustic. Yeah, that's a Yeah. Yeah, you really want that more in a um, living room or something where you're not going to get a lot of dirt. Yep, that most you get dust. Right, right, and that does, that's hard to clean and hard to dust. It is, because it's got that, a rough surface. With that rough hewn, yeah. So if you come over to the wood, let's just look at the cheap pine. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's not cheap. Cheap pine is not cheap. So here's a one by eight by six board is 10 bucks. So sometimes we thought of just putting wood on the side of the wall. Yep. Because that would be um, really true to the, the history of our house. Right. It's just using planks right. everywhere. So we've really considered using planks, but the cost was pretty prohibitive when you thought about it. Right. Yeah. And we didn't want to go with drywall since the house is 1780, yeah. you know. Yeah. We just... Horse hair plasters. Is authentic. authentic. Pla um, drywall is definitely not. No, no, it would look wrong in our house. Yeah, yeah it really would, because sometimes I, I dream about taking the horsehair plaster out and putting, <laughs> you know, putting, nice smooth, putting finished, nice smooth finish wall. No, I don't care about the finish of the wall oh, if it's smooth, but insulation. Be, oh, insulation. Yeah. yeah, and then we'd have to drywall and. Yeah. But I don't really want to do that, even though in some ways it's way more convenient. But I feel like it would take out from our house because it's so old and it's so untouched. Right. And because it's never been messed up. Like right. a lot of places, you just have to do that because the house has been tragically ransacked. But in our house, they've preserved it almost like a museum. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. so we don't really nice want to do that. Yeah. It's a nice thing. It's a nice thing. So this is what we used for our shelves. Now the great thing is because we had an empty room, we didn't already have cabinets in. Now, granted, if you have cabinets in, you're gonna save a lot of money, but since open shelves are in style right now, it was a whole lot cheaper to get some boards and make some open shelves than to, what did we do? I think we did two by 10 by eight. Doesn't that seem about right? Yeah, that could be. So we got interior, two by 10 by eight boards. Yeah, that's right. So basically this is what we use for our boards and they're, they're heavy. <sighs> Pick it up, Tom. <laughs> yeah, they're heavy. And when you get them here at Lowe's, they're gonna be kind of green and they might be kind of wet. So they're gonna have to dry out in your house before you do anything like stain them or paint yeah, them or whatever it is. Yeah. This one. Yeah. If they're dried out, they're not that heavy. Right, but they're heavy when they have water in them, and usually when oh, you get them. sitting outside. Right, right. And it's soaked up water. Yep. So we got a bunch of these, and we use this on the countertop in the for the island. Yep. And we use this for the shelves. We used this also for when we made our huge tables. Yep, we made huge tables and we used this, and then what happened? It took four people to move it. Yeah, it takes four people to move it. We can't. Move it. But it looks really, if you put it outside and you put a little stain on it, it looks really rustic. Right. People think we had like super old tables. Right. Because right. it's, it's right. kind of rough. Right. And yesterday, what did we see yesterday at Salem? We saw boards like this cut up, didn't oh, we, yeah. for those letters? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, so blocks. They were, and they were selling them for what? 12 bucks each. 12 bucks each. For, so from a board from this, I could probably make, I don't know, 120 or $200. Yeah, and they were ah. super cool. They were just painted white on yeah. the one side and then stenciled a letter. And a little bit of stain, just to make them look a little rougher. Yeah, 
Yeah. 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 So, so there's a, there's an idea to make some money. There's an idea Just for your Christmas board, bazaar. Into pieces and put letters on it. Mm-hmm. And then spell things out like yep. yoga. Yep. And sell it for or a letter. Or a, a last name for a family or something. Yep. So it's really great. Great idea for a farmhouse craft. Yep. I could do a DIY on that. Yeah. 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 Those are them. Not them. That's them. That's what we used in the kitchen. And that way we could go as deep as we needed to into the wall. Whereas those wooden ones that I was showing you before, you couldn't go as deep as you needed to. And these are dark bronze. Triple scroll brackets, $7.98 each. That's what we used on the wall. And this is what we used. The piping, right? How big is that? Well, this is half inch black iron. I think we had three quarter inch black iron. No, well, I think we had half inch. Do we have half inch? Mm-hmm. Half mm -hmm. inch black iron. Turn this the is, thing around. This is like, uh, this is 12 inches. 12 inches. Did we do 12 inch or did we do 10 inch? Uh, I'm thinking they're 12 inch. Okay. That looks right. So we got 12 inch half black iron. And how much is it for one of those? So one of those is... Four ninety four. Four ninety four for each of those, and then we get a cap for them. Oh yeah, we got caps. Yep. So these are three eighths. So this is all half inch. So this would be the half inch. Half inch caps. They look Dollar, like that. Dollar sixty eight. Dollar sixty eight. Okay. And, and then we got half inch flanges. Floor flange. Yeah floor flange and then you you well you put put this on the wall like that. yep screw it in yep screw the pipe into that yep and then put the cap where's the cap put the cap on top of the pipe on the end of the pipe right right okay so together the flange is about five bucks and that's five, and that's bucks. five bucks and this is about a two two so you're you're looking at twelve dollars each support each support yeah and so on some shells we had three supports. yeah on some shells we use three supports so that'd be fifteen dollars right and really they recommend that you wipe all the grease off of it and then spray paint them because else they will start to rust. We didn't do that because we're lazy. <laughs> Black steel uh, pipe nipple. I think we we'll have more to do with it. We just want to get this done. Yeah, we're not really lazy. <laughs> we just want to get it done. All right. So this is the one we got. Portfolio wool lantern outdoor. So it's an outdoor wool lantern. You can see the number there. It was $29.97, and that's what we put on the walls inside the house. That looks super great. Okay, so you've seen a lot. Now just a quick run through of my accessories, tea towels all the time, every season I change them out. It all works for me. It cozies up the kitchen, boards on the counter in the fall. I change out my curtains for pretty much every season. Baskets always store unsightly messes. I actually used a semi-gloss on these walls just for easy cleaning because it's a kitchen with two stoves. I wanted to be able to clean it up so there's that those chairs I bought at Amazon for about $130 for four these drawer poles were also from Lowe's and you can see the wood counters there's I've used just a lot of things from thrift shops you know all that white is from thrift shops the white plates and 
On the top shelf, I decorated with pictures because I can't reach up there to get anything that I want to use every day. So you can see that here I've got that farmhouse um, caddy from Hobby Lobby. And then this auction sign was a wonderful find because I found that under the linoleum in the barn on the barn floor. So I really like that. Those pumpkins came from TJ Maxx. And uh, I love mixing the, the white and the black and the white together. The flowers are from the backyard. And I like to use food to decorate with because, especially in a kitchen, because it's accessible and easy to get to. And um, that other little that right there, that's, that's a press from a um, uh, tombstone that I really liked. So I really, that, that door hanging was given to me by my aunt last year when she came to visit me. And then a month later she died of terminal cancer. So that means a lot to me. I could change it out in the winter because it's kind of a summery thing, but I leave it there because it means a lot. And sometimes you want to decorate with things that mean something to you. So then again, another look at the wainscoting and, um, it just really looks good to give it just kind of a cottagey charm and here you can see the bracket shelving that was different from the pipe shelving but it works really well all the shelves above the stove make it make things accessible if you're cooking you can just quick grab a plate to put your food on and then there's the island if i had to do this again i would line um, another little layer underneath those boards to catch some of the crap that comes through although right now the the crap is coming into the drawers below so i can always clean it up but you do get food in between those lines and that's covered that's actually covered with the same paint that i used on the wall and then i sanded it down to get that distressed look so I hope you like this. Please like and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, I'll be giving a lot more great tips as time goes on. Thanks. Take care.